Here we go for another episode of Ponies. Hello, I'm Lux. And I'm Ember. And this is our thoughts on My Little Pony, French Biz Magic, Season 5, Episode 17, Brotherhood Social. Oops, I said that wrong. Brotherhood Social. I wasn't going to bother to correct you because you had Brotherhood, which was probably some sort of cult. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cross-dressing. <laughs> Ah, classic cartoon gag. Yes, very. It was very kind of almost everyone to just ignore the fact that he was doing this. Mm-hmm. Though I do have to say that Big Mac hasn't had any kind of indicator, other than the loose term of what a sister is at the sister social, to actually judge whether or not he could have actually gone as himself, because I don't see any males represented there, so... Also, nice dig by Rainbow Dash. We won't go easy on you just because you're a stallion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because My Little Pony is all girl power. And it does seem like the, um, as it were, roles are reversed in Equestria. Males are the, quote unquote, weaker of the two sexes. <laughs> or at least the more subservient. Because Big Mac is definitely strong. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, he, even though it was underneath a love potion or love poison, he, he did move an entire house by himself. And in this particular episode, he tossed a hay bale with his head very easily. Yes, and broke through several hurdles and smashed a chicken coop. He was very determined. <laughs> Quite. Little overboard for getting those, you know, Apple family values of honesty and fair play. You know, the whole reason they ended up winning in the apple cider competition with the flim flam brothers because they were allowed to get a loose definition of family and refused to compromise on quality <laughs> well he was really determined to um get his little sister to be impressed by him again <laughs> not the best way to do it no definitely not but you know it's a very important thing i mean we've had episodes of Apple Bloom and Applejack. We've had episodes of Apple Bloom and Granny Smith, but you know, Big Mac's the big brother. That's usually the one that everyone looks up to. And we've shown Applejack looking up to Big Mac. So, you know, it has to be hard for him to, you know, the eldest of the two sisters is one of the saviors of Equestria, and the youngest sister, the baby of the family, worships the very ground she walks on. And this is another episode where it's really hammering in, not that it's a problem, the continuity of the show. Because they're really pointing back to a lot of stuff. They're pointing it back on how things have grown, how things have changed. Past episodes and people are acknowledging that, oh wait, these people save things. They exist as a team of people we know of. <laughs> yes. Finally, after five seasons, the news must have finally traveled. Mm -hmm. I think it's also the fact that M.A. Larson is in charge of the story this season, so he he likes his continuity. And congratulations to Big Mac's voice actor for finally getting some lines. <laughs> An entire episode. Because <laughs> it was him throughout the whole thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I do declare. Thank you for the southern bell there, Mr. Big Macintosh. <laughs> At least that's the accent I think he was going for. <laughs> yes, he, he was going for southern debutante. So any uh, major sticking points or points you really liked? I for one love the fact that Apple Bloom came out of the faucet and like, YOU ALMOST SQUISHED ME! Yes, because it was going overboard. So we also had the lesson of, yeah, it's not okay to try and win at any cost. Because you didn't get kicked out because you were a guy, you got kicked out because you were a bad sport. It was a nice touch at the end where he was doing the end zone dance that you know nfl players usually get fined for mm -hmm. the apple bloom was on his hoof and he was that close to spiking her to the ground like she was the football <laughs> oh also a tie back to hoofball that spike mentioned i believe at the beginning of the season or it was it was near the beginning of the season if i remember correctly i just don't know if it was the actual beginning of the season uh very near the beginning because he was going to hang out with big mac mm -hmm. oh and speaking of another continuity thing, this is an episode that actually takes place during the same time period of as the previous episode. Yes, which we did have in season three, because we had the episode where the main six were in 
the Crystal Empire. Sorry, I wanted to say Crystal Tokyo. <laughs> and at the same time, Spike was doing all the pet sitting. Mm -hmm. Though I think this pair feels better than that pair. Definitely. Especially from what I understand, um, in some cases, those two episodes were shown out of order for people. So it was kind of confusing. <laughs> oh, that would be very confusing. Mm -hmm. Especially if you watched it on Netflix and Amazon. I believe those two were actually put up out of order for those people. Actually, apparently that happens a lot for uh, My Little Pony Digital releases. Because apparently one of the two season ending episodes was actually leaked by iTunes by accident. Ouch. Yep. And I'm guessing the Sister Hooves social competitions are different every year because when we saw the Sister Hooves social before, we had that giant mud pit where Rarity was hiding to change out with Applejack. And why is Apple Bloom so upset that she can't do the Sister Hooves social with Applejack this time when last time she loaned Applejack to Sweetie Belle? And also, isn't that kind of stretching the definition of sister? <laughs> I'm thinking it's okay. It was okay that time because she really wanted to help her friend, but this time it was kind of taken away from her by how awesome her sister was, as she said, Your awesomeness is backfiring on me! Yes, but how was she able to relinquish Applejack during that time period? Because this time we saw the obstacle course as a race with everyone competing at the exact same time. So, yeah. And those shoes really did not go with that dress. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the wig was nice, though. It was very nice. And I'm impressed with Big Mac's ability to apply makeup and false eyelashes. <laughs> well, I think he's had plenty of experience with costuming in the past, so. Also, he is a stage performer, so knowing how to put on makeup is key to that for the lighting in most situations. Yes, and we did see his stage performer side come through as he went a bit overboard during the singing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I love when he, uh, when his voice went deep, they emphasized in animation his Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how no one was buying it. <laughs> Almost no one was buying it. Yeah, the, the poor old guy. <laughs> Yes. Who, okay, even assuming you bought the costume, she was way too young for you, dude. <laughs> uh, any more negative points you would like to point out? Or favorite parts of the episode? Um, well, favorite parts that Big Mac took that toy out, like he was trying to, you know, jog the memories and reconnect, and Elba Bloom's just like, yeah, whatever. He was going for the nostalgia factor, and the nostalgia doesn't work on people that young, sorry. <laughs> Though, if it was an item that had a particular smell to it, that may have triggered nostalgia, because smell is a very powerful memory jogger. Mm hmm Well, I just can't believe there are that many disorganized boxes in the Apple household. You would think if nothing else, Big Mac would have labeled them all, and you would think somebody would have kept them clean? Mm hmm So, yeah, they don't go up there that often. Makes you wonder... What else is up there? And I need to watch the episode again and, like, f uh, frame by frame analyze anything we see flying out of the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> there may be clues to Applejack's parents. One of these days they're going to at least have to show us a photo in the background somewhere. <laughs> At the least. I mean, it's not like it isn't a topic that hasn't been dealt with in children's shows before. I mean, even Rugrats handled it. I hope you enjoyed our thoughts on My Little Pony. Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 17, Brother Hooves Social. Thanks for listening. If you like Lux's art, you can find more of it on DeviantArt and Tumblr. Really enjoy listening to us blather on? Try subscribing. Also, comment sections there. Please be nice. Really, really like Lux's art? He does take commissions and also has a Patreon. All links in the description.